In this video, we're going to look at printing the quote. We're going to look at the different uh, layouts you can go with when you're, you're selecting this and, and how that affects what the client sees. We'll have a look at the different things you can tinker with and options you can change. We will look at the different delivery methods, and that'll include things like email, uh, the client portal. It'll also include digital acceptance if you want your client to be able to essentially digitally sign your quotes. So into my Build Exact account, and when I get into the quote letter screen, I'll have this select a different layout option. Now, in most people's Build Exact accounts right now, you'll have two options here. There is a chance that if you're a new starter at an existing company, uh, that there'll be existing layouts here, i.e. someone's gone through and made their own custom ones already. Uh, but for most people, they'll just be looking at two. The difference between the two here is the print only layout is kind of more a no frills style quote. Uh, so it's the exact same information as the custom layout. It's just how we present it. But uh, print layout is, yeah, very text based. The only images are for specifications and your logo. And uh, it's actually kind of commonly used by trades uh, quoting to builders. So uh, where, the, where the builder just wants to know the price, what's included, and um, is less, less kind of uh, interested in, in the presentation. They just want to know what's in it. On the other hand, custom layout is designed for your mum and dad style clients, so extensions, renos, um, new homes. Uh, it's also getting used for commercial jobs where it's a business to business style quote. Uh, really to sum it up, any, any time the quote needs to be impressive, this is probably the better option. Now to go through this, we're going to both, uh, we're going to look at both options. So first the print one and then the custom one. We're going to preview them, have a look at the options you have in, in tinkering with them. Once we've done that, we'll then look at the share options and that will cover all the different ways that you can get your quotes to your client because for both uh, layouts, doesn't matter which one you select, the share options are entirely the same. So starting with the print layout, I'm going to go into this. First up, we have the content area. So this is where it's covering the text boxes that go onto the quote. So um, we've got the quote body, which is the basically the cover letter. And I'm going to cover two main things here. First of all, it's not really that difficult to change it the most common mistake is people delete these little square bracket things where this is actually a placeholder. Uh, so a placeholder is where we are going to grab information from somewhere else and put it in your quote. They are fantastic if you're going to use the same style of quote over and over and want us to update the customer name or the email or the quote totals and it saves a lot of quote editing. Uh, because you just don't have to do this stuff. Particularly good if you use presets, um, because you can change from, let's say, a, a renovation uh, preset for your cover letter to a new home build for your cover letter, and we still pop in the same information. So the rest of it changes, but the main stuff, like the name and, top, and um, price, etc., all stays the same. Terms conditions. Not much to say about this. Uh, Obviously, put in whatever you need. This will drop right down to the bottom of your quote. To the right-hand side, there's a whole series of tick boxes. And this is really just saying yes or no as far as what you want to show or not. So letterhead, <clears throat> this is saying, hey, do you want the logo and business details, which almost everyone does this option. Option two is that you can use your own paper if you're printing it out and it'll print on your own letterhead. Uh, preview of the logo. If you don't have a logo in, you'll need to go to My Business and add one. Expiry. And if you don't want an expiry, just leave zero. Um, but uh, obviously, particularly at the moment with materials changing, um, expiry is even more relevant than, than usual. And then specifications, categories, and items. So these two, um, these are really important because this is kind of weighing up how much do you want to um, give a kind of an inclusions specifications list that just says, hey, Mr. Client, this is the things that you're getting for your money. 
versus how much do you want to give dollar figures um, for things. So put simply, specs comes from specs. Categories and items comes from estimate costings. And if you've used the spec section, I would assume that you will have it on here. But the big question is really how much do you want to include? Um, so we have quite a number of users that rely almost entirely on specs and then just have a final figure. And then we have users on the other end where they do, let's say, insurance work or something where it has to be really, really clear and transparent. Um, and they will go heavily into this section. So big spectrum. Um, as far as where you fit, it's personal preference but know that you should be able to find that place uh, where the quote is just perfect for you. So I'm going to turn a bunch of those on uh, for my categories and items. I'm going to show just a trade breakdown and not every item. So I'll leave it as that. And then for my allowances, I want to show the totals for those <clears throat> um, with tax, so not the full breakdown. And I don't want to show uh, the markup percentage, so I'll turn that off. We'll print this one. Um, print anywhere you see it is a print preview. It doesn't just shoot straight out of the printer. That's a common question actually. And you can print to PDF, Excel, or Word. Um, so personally, I just go uh, PDF most times. All right, up the top, all about you. Second line is the uh, the quote and you know who the client is, uh, how long it's valid for, etc cover letter, specifications with any images that it's pulled through. Uh, I put initials as an option in here. Um, I like that option, so I throw that one in. Uh, the allowances, which is showing without markup, just with tax. The intention here, if we haven't spoken about it in another video, you haven't seen this already, uh, the intention is that the client gets the so-called sticker price for an item. So if this was, let's say, an appliance, um, like an oven, they would be getting the price that they could go to their Harvey Norman, their Better Electrical, their wherever, um, and literally compare your quote against um, another item for the purpose of doing selections. Moving on down, I just went with a, a trade breakdown style here. Um, there's obviously categories I didn't mark as not required or didn't delete which I would probably do. Uh, note that these figures do have markup in them. And final figure. So that's our uh, print only quote layout. Jumping from there into select a different layout and customizable layout, there's instantly more things you can do with this. So each of the sections for the quote has its own section, has its own area. And you can go and turn things on and off. So I'm going to do a quick run through. I'm going to first of all go cover page and edit this image because I think this is a really quick, easy win. Awesome. You can change the template, which adjusts the layout of the front page, if you like. Moving through to the letter. These options are actually entirely the same as in the other print layout quote. So presets and placeholders being the main one. So I won't delve too much into this. Quoted items. Again, similar to the other print only uh, or print layout quote. This is pulling from the estimate costings and you can choose how much you want to show versus not. It's for people who, who rely heavily on specs. It's not uncommon for this to actually get turned off. Um, so that's actually what I'm going to do in this case. Allowances, exact same options as with the other quote, just how do I want to show them and what description do I want to add? So this wasn't in the other quote style. Specifications, I'm going to segue a little bit to just mention there is an advanced editing option on each section of the quote, but uh, with great power comes great responsibility <clears throat> and this is essentially the the back end or the behind the scenes of how this quote is getting built so there is a purpose for it if you are code inclined or you can manage this kind of stuff 
Um, if you're not, probably best that you don't uh, tinker with it too much. If you do go and tinker and everything goes red like so and it just blows up, um, you can just exit out or reset changes to get out of jail, which I'm going to do. However, there are a few little easy things in here like changing titles. Um, that's a real easy one that uh, a lot of people do come in here for. So there are legitimate uses for uh, advanced editing. There's plenty of videos and um, there's even a webinar on advanced editing as an option. So uh, I'm not gonna delve too much into it. But uh, main thing is if you break it, there is ways to, to fix it. I'll rattle through the rest of them. Quote summary, I wanna show the categories, terms, conditions, that's all good. That's the same as the other quote. And then contact us. I don't want to show my logo on the back. Um, and I don't want my address on that either. Awesome. Before I print, a quick side note. If you make the world's best quote, then you have the option to save this as an entire layout. And this is great because it saves you having to do it every time. So you can go save layout. Let's call it demo. And what that does is, as it sounds like, it saves a whole layout permanently uh, so that you can, for your next quote and the one after that and the 3,000 quotes into the future, um, you can go and pick this and it auto applies that quote information onto the existing layout. It also gives you the option to have multiple layouts if you. Uh, Similar to presets, want to have one for renovation versus new build versus commercial. Great option for that. And a little side note here is I'm currently using my demo one. But if I go, look, quote summary, tinker with something, it'll have a quick think and change the name of this, which we get questions about, so I'll clarify it. You are absolutely still, well, you absolutely still started that quote from your template or from your saved layout. But as soon as you go and tinker with it, we make a temporary version because we, we're trying to stop you from, um, I guess, ruining your, uh, your saved one here, which is the demo option. So for this quote only, I'll have some temporary ones saved in here, which I can go back to if I need. It auto saves them. But in future quotes, I'll only see the main saved ones. If I want to update that saved layout, I go save as new layout and I save it that way as I did the first time. Beautiful. Well, let's go through the share options. And um, the share options, as mentioned already, are the same for both styles of quote. They will be different for if you have a client portal open versus if you don't. So I'm going to go into here and just talk through the different options. Righto, so whether I put it into a client portal or whether I email it, I can choose to go standard for workflow or digital acceptance. Standard means pretty much as per normal. We send it out, uh, it goes either as an email or into their portal, depending on what we choose later on, and they look at it and that's it. Digital acceptance is we send it to them, they look at it, and they also have an option down the bottom to say accept and notify the builder, which we'll, we'll show you. And this, uh, this is really great if you want the client to receive it and then obviously let you know um, if they're happy with it. With recipients, if there is a client portal open, then you will have this section as well. If there is no client portal, then this just doesn't exist. Now, what I'm gonna do is I do have a client portal, so I'm gonna say, yes, share this into the portal. Uh, it'll go into the quotes. Note that I've, I've kind of jumped the gun a bit on this. I've um, sent this out to people, but they haven't accepted the, the invites to my client portal yet. So if you use the client portal, be really um, conscious of this box. And what we're trying to alert you of is the fact that you might have shared a client portal, but None of your clients have accepted the invite yet, so you're, you're basically sharing it to nobody. That said, we're gonna send them an email regardless, 
um, which will be another little prompt to say, hey, go into your client portal and have a look. Um, but this will always tell you who's in your client portal, who's not, uh, and I find this super, super useful. Going on down, um, I have the option always to send an email as well as going into the portal, or if I don't send to the portal, it's just an email on its own. So you can kind of get the sense of what the options are here. I'm going to go to the portal though, and send an email to these three people as well. With the email, that's just controlling the subject, the text. You can preset it as per usual. You can have attachments, which is either new files or existing files, just throw them in. And once you're happy, you go share. If it's going into a client portal, you will get this extra message as you probably have seen before if you've used these portals, just saying, hey, reminder, shared items can't be removed. And this is solely because um, if you're new to the client portal, we go with the idea that the client owns that portal. And uh, once things are in there, you can send revisions, but you can't take it away, similar to how an email would function uh, if you share an email to a client. So we'll go, okay, no problem, share. And it'll have a think, off it goes, beautiful. So we'll show you what the email looks like. All right, now, whether you have a client portal or not, the email actually looks essentially the same. So this is a good guide for either case. Um, it'll have your logo, it'll have a um, the, the uh, text that you've decided on, and it'll have a link. Only real difference is if it's no client portal, it links them just to this, which is the quote, and they can download or accept. If there is a client portal, it links them to this, which is their, their portal, and they can then uh, download, accept, message you. So th there's more options for them there. What I'm going to do is go through the acceptance of a emailed quote. Ultimately, whether it's in the portal or not, when they accept, you get the same notifications back in your build exact. So I'm going to be the client here. I'm going to go, yep, yeah, that looks great. Oh, amazing. Uh, accept quote. And this is the message that the client gets. Let your builder know that you want to accept this quote and its terms and conditions by clicking accept quote. Your builder will be notified upon accepting this quote. Okay, got it. Great news, builder will be notified. So you as the builder get a alert here. So it'll sit in the estimates list. If you go view, it'll take you to the estimate and it's shifting your status for that quote to digitally accepted. So this status box, if you've not seen it before, this is where you would normally say, hey, quotes finalized or sent or accepted or what, it, what have you. Um, we've updated that for you to say, yep, digitally accepted. The next steps from here would be, uh, well, I mean, it depends on how you would normally process this, but we would imagine, you know, you go to contract from here, you get further acceptance done but uh, this is a provisional acceptance that we've had. Once I go, yeah, I got it, I'll dismiss that message. And final point is down the bottom in the estimate detail screen, uh, we have versioning. So something that's slightly different with the, uh, the, the share options around the quote is we're now taking a snapshot of the quote each time you share it. Uh, if you need to go back and uh, see what exactly that quote looked like, uh, at the time you shared it out, you can generate a new estimate and it'll create a new estimate for you to look at. Alternatively, if you just want to see what the attached files looked like or what the client was looking at when they received it, you can go communications and dive into it this way. Fantastic. As always, if there's any questions, let us know. But for now, that's how you uh, make a quote, how you share it, how you modify it and how you make sure the client's happy with it. Thanks a lot.